weapons. We all love them. Without them, we wouldn't be able to kill other players. If the player spawns on the other team, we use these weapons to kill them. I mean, isn't that what humans usually do? There is no doubt that we all love weapons. That's why today I'll show you how weapons in video games are created so that we can start killing each other in games rather than in real life. First, we need a weapon shape, so we'll 3D model it. For those who don't know, 3D modeling is a witchcraft process where we manipulate geometry to make shapes. Then we will texture it to make it more colorful, as we want to kill our enemies in a fashionable style. Now we have our weapon shape. However, right now it's just a shape, like a useless rock. Okay, we will script equipping our weapon. First, let's create a socket at the player's hand. Socket in Unreal Engine simply just means location and rotation data. Now we will create a sphere collision around the weapon. Then if our player collides with it and presses equip input, we will call event to attach the weapon's location and rotation to the socket's location and rotation. Good enough for now, let's test it. Whoa, it works! Wait, th that's not how we hold weapons. Okay, it turns out that the socket rotation was in the wrong direction. Let's test it now. Whoa, it works! Great, now we have a useless rock in our hand. <laughs> so we will implement animations for our beloved weapon here. What we currently need is moving, aiming, shooting, and reloading. And they opened Blender to create these animations. Great, now when the player equips the weapon, we will play hold animation. And when the player presses the aim button, we will play aim animation. And when the player presses reload, you know what I'm going for. For aiming, we will create an aim offset to blend between the aiming animations based on the camera's direction. And we will change the camera's focal length over time to smoothly zoom in when aiming and zoom back out to normal when we stop aiming. Also, we will add a crosshair to the screen. Beautiful. Now it's time for our most beloved part. The part that actually enables us to kill others. Bullets. And being a psychopath. But, but in this video we'll just create bullets and we will let the life do its job in creating psychopaths. Mostly as game developers we create bullets with one of two methods. Ray trace or projectile. In ray trace we just fire a line that retrieves data on what has been hit. It's more optimized, instantly hits and is used in games like Counter Strike. In projectile however, it's like a 3D model that we fire, can enable gravity in it to make bullets fall over time and control its speed, used in games like Battlefield. In our project we will use projectile, as I simply love it, unlike rocks. Now we will add a socket to the weapon, and when the player presses the shot input, we will fire the projectile forward from the weapon socket, and also we will play bullet sound. Perfect. Hmm, I think I should increase its speed. Perfect bullets. And also I found another stupid bug. I can start aiming animation when firing, but it will look weird when you start moving. I will tell you a secret. With aiming, we hide that weirdness by zooming in. Yes. In order to eliminate that weirdness, I will need to create full body animations for the shooting and aiming. Yeah, that will not happen. I will just disable the ability to shoot while not aiming. Modern problems require modern solutions. We now have perfect bullets. However, we can't leave our player shooting forever. We must limit them to accurately simulate our limited life. So we will create a bullet and magazine count system. Now bear with me in this one as it's slightly confusing at first. When a projectile is fired, we will minus one bullet. Then when bullet number is zero, it will not fire. And then the player will need to reload. 
when the player presses the reload input, we will check if magazine has numbers. If no, we don't do a thing. But if yes, it will check if these numbers are bigger than max bullets variable. If bigger, then add max bullets number to bullets and minus it from magazine. If smaller, however, then add the whole magazine number to bullets and minus it from self. <sighs> the work we do to kill others. We will add HUD for the bullets on the screen. And we now have a proper working bullet system. That minus bullets, stop firing when there is not enough bullets, and when we press reload, it reloads. Magic. We will also add hit impact. When projectile hits something, we will make it spawn VFX, decal image, sound, and physical force. And now let's see our beloved weapon in action. It's alive! It's alive! To take other people's lives. That's it guys, that's how we can create weapons in video games to kill others without going to jail. We still however needs AI to shoot at. Hmm. If you want to know how AIs are made, you can see that in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to kill as many players as you can.